Welcome back, Wolfag. Verlus here. More battles on the battle spot. I am bringing the filth team once again with some modifications. Because, like, when I was using Ambipom last time, Ambipom was such a liability against ghost type Pokemon. It was really upsetting. But now, this time, I'm like checking. It's like, oh, preparations are still needing to be completed. But now, this time, I have the Megalopony. So we can fake out last resort with the Megalopony. Technically, faster and more damage than the Ambipom. Oh boy. I don't like Talonflame. Let's lead. Let's lead Lopunny, and then we have uh, something to deal with a little bit of everything. I don't have Status Cleric, but I don't think I, there's like too much status on this team. Yeah, I'm not worried. Um, if he if he leads the Talonflame, that'd be pretty bad. But we have options. Um, anything else like Lopunny is just gonna devastate his entire team. So there we go. So it's about an hour until we get the Gamescom news. Hopefully it was great. I'm talking to you guys in the future and even myself in the future. Had a fun time throwing down some of those battles and doing stream stuff. Somehow, what is this, 800 viewers? I don't deserve 800 viewers. Either way, been good. Getting subs, getting donations. Well, actually, no, I haven't got any donations today. But plug in G Fuel, like always. Gotta, gotta keep that energy alive. And last time was like the callback team with X and Y. I think that team, like, the X and Y team worked in X and Y, but with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, uh, introducing the, whatchamacallit, tutor moves, and also some other things, you know, it got a little weird. So, do have to deal with the Talonflame. Let's go Mega Fake Out. We can get some damage down Talonflame. But what is Talonflame going to do is the question. You know. Low-key advertise. Like, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the chat running up once again. But there's some stuff that's cringe. How's it cringe to plug my favorite energy drink that has a delicious taste that's better than other competing energy drinks? Use code Bliss5 at 10% off. I don't understand people these days. These days. So what I want to do is I want to switch out Lopunny and then go into my Rotom. And then Rotom's going to be able to tank up the Talonflame pretty well. Or I can throw out the Last Resort right now and expect... Uh, I was expecting a Swords Dance. So I kept in. Well, there goes my Lopunny. See, it's just one of those things, like, you hope for greed. If he greeted, went for Swords Dance, he just dies. And, like, that was the play to make for him. What is this? Life Orb. Alright, so he's got the Life Orb, which means he could have had Swords Dance. Alright, I'm going to go and invalidate this entire Talonflame's existence right now. So, in comes the Pout on. So, the point behind this is that Talonflame gets to do nothing right now, and I get a free Stealth Rock. Technically, I could Whirlwind and then Stealth Rock, depending on what he wants to go for, because he might Roost in the face of my uh, Hip Out on. But either way, then he's going to get it. So yeah, I need this Stealth Rock. We'll just take this. U-Turn? That's not going to end well for him. Like, at all, because there's my Rocky Helmet. And Life Orb? Oh, he's got one hit point. Nothing. But now he comes into the Stealth Rocks and dies. So Talonflame's gone. Half plan. Pulled through. I get a free Stealth Rocks. He's going to go into his Gyarados. And, yeah. Oh, wins a Superior instead. Why Superior? Like... Yeah, uh, the superior doesn't get to do anything to me, which is absolutely... I'm okay with this. So if he was folks sashed, that's broken. And now I can go into Amoongus, and he won't be able to snowball me. Because whenever I'm playing superior, I know there's one thing I hate, and that's Amoongus. Slash Talonflame. So there's the Leaf Storm. Like, he's gaining stats, but it doesn't really do too much to me. Um... I can't spore him because he is a grass type, but I can start. I can hit him with that sludge bomb. Just supered. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I don't like because I don't have Lopunny anymore. Like it would have been the safe play to go into Rotom and stuff, and then we would dance around. Or I could have gone to Hippowdon as like the safe answer. I just want to see if he would go for the Swords Dance because that'd been that's swag. So I still have options. I don't, I don't think I have, like, I don't have, like, the hard speed, because if I just had Lopunny, at any point I could come in Lopunny, fake out Last Resort, and no matter how much setup Superior has, he goes away. So he's got the Glare. 
Is that something he wants to do? Like, if he gets a paralyzed on this turn... Okay! He gets the paralyzed, like, then it works out for him, because if he, if he didn't, then that means he's losing a turn of snowballing, and I could just get a free sludge bomb, and then I would ruin his day off of that. So now he has hidden power, so hidden power fire. Really? No? Hidden power... What? See, and that's... Ooh. Oh, that's filth. Oh, that's filth! <laughs> there we go. So, taking the sandstorm damage right there. We still got one more turn of sandstorm, right? Oh yeah. Alright, so... Um... We looking good. He he has to stay in the... He has to keep the superior in. Because if he switches out, then it goes down to the stealth rocks. And then I just get free health off the synthesis. Being paralyzed isn't fun. But I think we're still good. Yeah. Like, I don't... If he switches, that would have been a good turn to Spore. But really, it doesn't make a difference. I'm just going to heal back up. Now, Synthesis does get cut in Sandstorm. So I might as well get my full health now. And then we can just play it off. Like, yeah, I don't even know what kind of Hidden Power that could have been. But then it shows if it was Hidden Power Fire, it would, it would still be... It wouldn't be enough to do any severe damage. And then Superior goes down. So yeah, Superior Snowball didn't get to happen, which is good. I think we're set. Leaf Storm. Alright. Last little bit of damage. If I get paralyzed, it's very bad. Mm, I just need the heal. Give me the heals. Oh, thank god. Like, I would like, I just want to end this turn on full health and then have the neutral. So, effectively, crap. I didn't think that went through. <laughs> Cause I I thought I thought I'd like one more turn of sandstorm damage. Boo. Dragon pulse. That's okay. Man, Moonga's just tanks. Um, as people asking what the news is about, we don't know. Only you guys know that are watching this video right now. So Superior is gonna go down. I I still have like the plus two. Like, I've got. Two Pokemon, like, I mean, I've plus one. So, Talonflame's gone. Like, Talonflame is dead for all intents and purposes. So, I have five, he has six. Amoongus is close to full. In comes his Mamoswine. Alright, uh, Mamoswine is something I can easily deal with. So, let's go Pokemon. Let's go into the Aloma Mola. So, now I've got my Regenerator. A Ryuna, well, it's not Ryuna Growth, it's Alola Growth. No, it's Alola... Gus. A Lilish room. Something like that. He went for the Ice Shard, really? Oh man, I could have synthesized in front of that. Like, the Ice Shard doesn't do any damage. But now we get free Alola Mola, and Amoongus goes back up to, like, full health off of the Regenerator. So now the Regenerator filth comes in, and that's why I like this team so much. So we have, like, the hard offense Lop Honey, and then the rest of the team is just stonewalling. Intimidation, the highest form of flattery. Yes. Yes, it is. Except not. So, Scald is super effective damage. Could burn. Could hit something. Alright, who's he going to bring in? What's the response to the Aloma Mola? Gyarados. I was hoping for Gyarados. Because I can just Scald burn it. And it also takes a lot right there. Intimidate. That's fine. I can deal with this. <laughs> Aloma Mola has so much health. Good grief. If he gets burned at some point. Like, I'm... Okay, the first turn burn... That's asking for a lot, but I'm expecting like Mega Gyarados into Dragon Dance, and if I burn him at any time, then that really reduces a lot of his power. And then he's he's taking burn damage, and then it goes away, and then he has to he has to like plus four to get into a decent position with the burn. So at any time, like if, as long as I'm on odds for Scald, I'll be fine. So no damage because that. Oh no. We need a burn now. Keeps going to that Dragon Dance. That's fine. We can deal with these Dragon Dances as long as we get a burn at some point. I don't know when he's going to take the offense, which is something to worry about. We'll still be fine. There it is. All right, so one in three chance. Get it on the third. I would call that fair. But now he's neutral. So now he's hitting me with a plus zero attack. And we'll be okay. So he's taking that DOT. 
He's going to keep going for that Dragon Dance. I'm wondering how many Dragon Dances he's going to get. The Scald isn't hurting him. Knockoff's not going to do anything. Going to burn him down, guys. Going for the long con. I'm wondering when he's going to transition to offensive moves. Eh, might as well just throw out the Wish. Never know. Like, I'm not expecting a lot of damage at all. So there's his Crunch. I got the Wish play. That works out really well. Can't Scald it every time. Even at plus six, he wouldn't even be doing half my health. Even at plus six, he wouldn't one-shot me. Really? Maybe he would. It would be a very close one-shot. But that's literally the filth of a low Mamola right there. If this is my full hit point, full defense, and my Amoongus is full hit point, full special defense. So I have the defense wall and the special defense wall. And that's why I wasn't worried about Gyarados from the start. Like, Lot Bunny could in theory shut it down, but overall I just tech it out. Oh, Lucario. All right, bringing in Lucario. Air Balloon. All right, I can just Scald Burn him. And what's this Lucario going to do to me? He doesn't get anything on me. If he's, like, special attack, he can kind of damage me, but he still needs to need Nasty Plot first, and even then I'm hurting him really well. Oh, I could have knocked off. I should have knocked off right there just to see what his item was. So it's Nasty Plot. Mm, still not worried. Like, I'm at full health, and he it's not like, unless he has, like, Hidden Power Grass or something, even then I'm not really thinking there's going to be anything. Aura Sphere is a solid neutral hit, but I just have such an health, such an health pull, such a health pull. Probably doesn't matter. Aura Sphere. All right, we're about to see how much damage he does. Ooh. Oh, the critical hit. Now we will never know. That dropped a little bit too fast. Uh, there's the burn. I mean, so he's two Pokemon burned. The Mammoth Swine isn't really a threat. Lucario goes down to burn this turn. So we'll take it. We will take that. And the frustration begins. So I get a free double team on Dusclops. That's the only thing I see out of this whole uh, development. So there's a double team. Yep, that's right, guys. I brought Dusclops back today. I am such a terrible person. I am very sorry. The crit mattered. Yes. Wow, that was another a back to back crit. No, I hate my life. <laughs> Every time, like it didn't matter, but that's not something I want to be dealing with. And my hair is so messy. Like, look at this hair. This is waking up bed hair shenanigans. I'm just gonna make it messier. That way, it looks like it's intentional. Yeah. See that? See, the problem is I have like these two calics, like this massive calic right here, and this. Stupid Calic over here, which is why I wear the hat most of the time. Like, I think I can pull a good front game. I mean, look at that. That seems pretty solid. Um, I'll just Will-O-Wisp. I'll survive whatever Garchomp does to me. Dragon Claw. No mess, Reno. Survive it! Hmm, good job, Dusclops. I love you so much. So now he's burned. So, that's three Pokemon burned. Maelstein's the only Pokemon left, effectively. And I can just roll his team. So I think that's going to work out really well. And Confuse Ray. We'll do it. We'll play it up. Confuse Ray for the fun of it. I, I threw my hat across the room in rage, so there's no saving my bad hair day now. Look at that. Oh, what a mess. Withdrawing the Garchomp, really? Ooh. Wait, how do I... Gotta get that flow of the hair. I, I went for a faux hawk, but I don't think my hair was cut really well. Like, I have this weird thing on the side, which is supposed to blend into the faux hawk, but it's not really working. And now I just look like a madman. So there's confusion. I'll I'll get the rest. Let's go for that rest. Like he's confused. If he hits himself in confusion, and I have the double team on me, yeah, I, I'm in odds. I'm in odds right now. I'm in odds. Yeah, there we go. So we get the rest. And now I wake up, Will O Wisp, confuse Ray again, double team, and then we win. Cause I need to Will O Wisp him so he starts taking damage. Yeah, that stuff. Well, this turn plays out, I'm gonna go fetch my hat. Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlo's here. What did I miss? It looks like he missed. Haha, <laughs> releasing himself in confusion. Cool. Snaps out. That's fine. Earthquake. Duskob's pulling through like a bro. 
not bad. So now I wake up in the will o -Wisp, confuse him again, and it's pretty much what I said. And then we just wall out the rest of his team. And everyone's... Ooh, that's Stealth Rocks. Free Stealth Rocks. I mean... I don't know what he's really going to get out of that, honestly. It's like, okay, I wake up, and then Will-O-Wisp, and then Garchomp hits me for, like, one damage. Because he's burned. Uh, good switch. But then Garchomp eats a Confused Ray. I don't think he has any responses right now. Like, there's nothing he can do. Um, Gyarados is dead the, s the turn it comes in. Wow, okay. Uh, the double team's going a little off right now. I was not expecting this much luck out of the double team. But it's no, it doesn't really matter at this point. So Garchomp's confused. Uh, let's get another double team. We'll, we'll bring my stuff up. He might be going for switch. So I could have gone for like a confused ray just to be safe, but he didn't. And then oh wow, okay, the odds are in my favor. Ultimate Troll Dusclops is uh, starting to do nasty things, but it still works out. So yeah, this is. This is just the, this is just the filled Verlus team. Like, if I'm not bringing this, I'm not winning battles, which is it's unfortunate, but it happens. So I guess he's just leaving his Garchomp in. Oh, I'm sorry. Is he gonna go down to burn after that? Let's call. Oh my. All right. So, Gyarados dies immediately. Um, Talonflame dies immediately. It's down to Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine gets burn confused. That's game. Um, how I get Shell Smash on Smeargle. I did a Smeargle guide, and the sketch guide kind of works for everything. So, that's how you do it. Or you have a Pokemon use Shell Smash, and then an opposing Smeargle on XY does it. I have a, Yeah, the guide kind of applies for everything. So, there we go. And let's get another double team, just for some fun. 35 minutes till the news. Alright, so, Gyarados does have that crunch. It does pop me a super. But that's how tanky Dusclops is. Double team. Double time! Oh yeah, let's turn it up! I've been playing way too much Overwatch. So, that's going to be Gyarados going down. Uh, Talonflame. Might as well just throw it in there to go down to the rocks. And then we burn the Mammoth Swine. Alright, there's Mammo. 4pm here in Germany. Gamescom is in Germany, so I'm pretty sure. And then that's what we're doing. Uh, Mammoth Swine below half, Will-O-Wisp, Confuse Ray, GG. I love my Dusclops. He clutched it so hard this game. It's beautiful. Oh man, so what else is going on, guys? We at least got- we get- we soft reset the Arceus. We had some fun Arceus battles. Um... I don't even know. You know what would be cool? If they buffed Eviolite in the 7th generation? Because it's not getting a lot of play right now, you know? Make it, uh, 66% defenses. Dollar Tree Lifesaver Gummies. I live at Dollar Tree, man. It's such a good place. Wow, critical hit. Still survive. This Mammoth Swan's trying to take it down. He might actually get me. He might actually get me. But if he hits himself in confusion, he dies to burn, so... Good stuff. I'll just double team. I don't want to rest. I want him to earn it. If he gets through the hacks, he'll kill me. Confusion. Burn. Talonflame. GG. And then 30 minutes to go so I can set up for the stream. Yeah. Good stuff. Alright. GG. Cup of Joe. Um. It was just the filth team. I gave up. That's why, like, I played for the weird win conditions. You know, the lop on you play in the beginning was questionable. But it set me up for that Talonflame because, yeah, then Talonflame was a non-factor. I was able to get the stone, the Stealth Rocks for free. Well, not free, but trade Stealth Rocks for, like, half a lot on you. And then we still made it from the rest of the battle. So I would have liked the peace of mind for the lop on you, but I obviously didn't need it. So, guys, enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.